Hey guys, my name is Michael Newman and you are watching AFME TV's On Cue. Hey guys, welcome back to AFME TV's On Cue. I'm your host, Michael Newman, here at Knob Hill Studios. And in with us today, we have Mr. Dave Lamar, all the way from the Philippines. Yes, sir. And he is a songwriter, singer. Um, you have an awesome, awesome story and, and past, and you're very talented. And we're gonna actually see one of his new music videos that was directed by Jordy, our producer and director here. But um, let's go into, into your story, man. Like, how, how did you get into the music business? And, you know, is this your passion? Like, how did yes. you, yeah. Oh, most definitely. Yeah. Um, I mean, I grew up around music. Yeah. Um, I was uh, born and raised in the Philippines. Um, I was raised in an orphanage, mm -hmm. but um, I'm not an orphan. Yeah. <laughs> um, that's uh, my parents' ministry. Mm -hmm. uh, my mom went there when she was 18. I met my dad, they got married, and then um, it's always been one of my mom's um, passions to to just take care of kids. Yeah. And uh, her her childhood um, idol that she always looked up to was Mother Teresa. So she wanted to be like that. Right. And I mean, true enough, she followed she followed that dream. Yeah. And then there came you. Yeah. And where did the, when did the music come into play? Um. Well, my mom would. Uh, she started out in like jail ministry mm -hmm. before the orphanage. So um, she would go there and um, she, she knew how to play the guitar, mm -hmm. but just a couple chords. But then I picked up that she taught me how to play the guitar. Mm -hmm. And then um, eventually I passed her up and I started <laughs> playing the guitar for her and stuff like that. Um, but then when the kids came along, just music was just always, we had the kids sing songs before, before dinner, before breakfast. and. Um, just music was just always there, yeah. and so um, and then I played at um, our church and stuff like that. I was involved in in our like youth group band and stuff like that. So yeah. it was always there growing up. That's cool. Yeah. So um, what's your favorite thing about being an artist, uh, being a musical artist? What what drives you in 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 terms of you know always you know putting yourself out there in terms mm -hmm. of your music? Like what what drives you to do that? Um. Well, for example, the first one of the first songs that I wrote, mm -hmm. I started writing when I was around 14, 15. And um, uh, one of my mom's childhood friends um, is a country singer, and um, he writes a lot of music. So he was encouraging me at like 12, 13 years old to start writing music. And I was like, I, like what, do I, what do I write? Like, I, I hadn't gone through not even half of what the kids at the orphanage had been through. Right. Um, but then one day it just clicked, I'm like, man, like these kids have amazing stories, like literally on the streets trying to survive on their own, no food and just um, just dirty and yeah. um, parents left them and stuff. So they have these incredible stories. So um, it just clicked one day to try to tap into into mm -hmm. those stories. Cre and creatively and, tell that story. And exactly. Wow. And and so I think um, it, it's definitely it's definitely a gift because mm -hmm. um, uh, it's just something that just comes very natural to me where I'm able to just tap into someone's story and sort of be able to write it and tell it yeah. as if I went through it. But it's just being able to, um, I guess, emotionally connect on a different level with, with, that, yeah, with yeah. that person. Yeah. Totally. So for me, that's one of the, that's one of the um, cool things about is when I write something um, and then someone is like, oh my gosh, like that's, that's my story. Wow. And it's funny because the story that I wrote about the kids, um, this man that had been encouraging me all this time to write, when I sang it to him for the first time, he was in shock. Wow. And then he like left the room and I was like, what, was it not very good? So I was like kind of nervous. He goes up to my mom and he asked him, did you tell him like anything about my past and anything about like what I went through as a kid and stuff? Wow. My mom was like, no, not really. Like, Cause that song was exactly, That's and it's it. actually, yeah. it's, it's called Desperate for Love. Mm. And it's, it's up on YouTube. So if you guys want to, to listen to that, but um, so that's what sort of uh, brings me joy as, yeah. as a songwriter. When, when people can connect to it. Yes, yeah, exactly. And totally. when it's, when I'm able to um, sort of write something that I didn't go through personally. Cause there's a ton of different songwriters. So there's those songwriters that um, write as if it's their diary. So mm -hmm. they write from personal experience. Yeah. 
Well, and good. I, I want to talk more about this. We're going to have to go to commercial break, but when we come back, Sweet. more about your path and what you know brought you here to Albuquerque. Mm -hmm. So let's okay. go to commercial break. This is my kingdom come. This is my kingdom come. When you feel my heat, look into my eyes. It's where my demons hide. It's where my demons hide. Don't get too close. It's stuck inside. It's where my demons hide. It's where my demons hide. call it the last All right, welcome back to On Cue. I'm here with Dave Lamar, singer, songwriter. And we're talking about your story, um, and we talked about like where you came from musically and how mm -hmm. it came into your life. And then I want to mention too that when you're in the Philippines, you were on The Voice over there. Yeah, I was on The Voice. Yeah, that was that was crazy. Um, I, I was always wanted to, because I was in a duo with my brother right. for for a couple years. Um, but then uh, he sort of to wanted to do a different career path. And then the voice came along, and I was like, man, I always wanted to see what it would be like to, to be in a singing competition. Right. And so the opportunity came, and I, t I took it. Wow. It was, so, was it a great experience? Oh, yeah. It was, it was so nerve-wracking. I imagine. You're on TV I know. in front of thousands and it's, of people. It's, it's just so different because most auditions you sing, mm -hmm. and then after you find out if you're in or not. Right. Where this is, if you're done singing and no chairs turn around, you're, you're out. Wow. So there's like that pressure, like you're singing and you're like, come on, please, someone <laughs> turn around, someone turn around. Oh, so it was, it was so fun. Yeah. That's cool. And it's great to have that, you know, that platform and get below building that confidence too, as a performer exactly. to be able to yeah. do that. And, you know, talking about your journey from the Philippines to here mm -hmm. and what brought you here, the shooting the new music video that we just saw a little clip of during the commercial break that was directed by Jordy, our Mm -hmm. our chief photographer here on on cue how was that experience coming to albuquerque and being able to shoot that um well because my brother and i we would always make videos and uh -huh. it was it was like a hobby that we always did and we did some stuff like some sideline stuff where we actually got paid to do it right a couple times um but then when we when i came to albuquerque and i, I didn't have my brother to to help me help me film and stuff like that um i had started recording some covers and um and because I, I basically use covers to practice on right right um so i recorded a cover and i was like i don't know how the heck i'm gonna i'm gonna shoot this yeah and it, it was of that song imagine from imagine dragons and i wanted it to be um because it's a dark song so right, totally. like albuquerque is like the perfect <laughs> yeah like scenery and stuff For like that sure. desert can, and all that uh -huh. so i had already like Im imagined it in my head i just didn't know anyone um because i mean i didn't just want to get anyone to like hold the camera and yeah um, I wanted someone that actually knew how to handle a camera. Yeah. And then um, uh, I was at a friend's house, and, and Jordy was there also. And so uh, we were watching some of their stuff there. And I was like, man, this is really nice. So then um, after that, I was like, dude, we should do something after. Yeah. So then we connected on social media, Twitter and stuff. Um, I sent him some of the stuff that, that I did. And then um, I was like, and then one day he commented on one of my, my Instagram photos and was like, dude, let's do something. Yeah. He's like, I'm free this Sunday. And let's that was Super happen. Bowl Sunday. Yeah, oh, yeah. Wow. So it was like, okay, let's do it. So then we meet up at like 6 a.m. By, by 12 o'clock, right before the Super Bowl started, it was already done. Wow. That's, that's, yeah. that's pretty quick for a music video. It, it was, it pretty was good, Jordy. fun. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's awesome. And then also another project that both of you guys are working on, the, the new film that's coming out mm -hmm. in this pre-production, A Man Named Paul. Yeah. You're going to be doing the soundtrack for that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So then, um, like, I mean, after that, uh, because we have that, that connection with, with um, film and, and yeah. music and stuff, so, I mean, he, he asked me one day, he was like, dude, could you, could you um, write a song for, for this film, the short film that I'm doing? Mm -hmm. And I was in Kansas at the time. I was like, yeah, sure, dude. So um, he sends me, um, not even the script, he just sends me like, like two sentences, basically, yeah. of, of what the f film is about. And the next day, I, I wrote the whole thing. That was it. And I send it to him, and um, I was like, I hope, I hope this this works. And I was like, dude, that's like a hundred percent of that's awesome of what it, what it is. So, 
It's, it's the first time I'm doing something like this. Wow. So I'm excited too. Yeah, it's a, like a new endeavor. Mm -hmm. And it's cool to have other creative people that you can kind of cooperate and have that synergy with. Yeah, you know exactly. What I mean? mm -hmm. So that's great. We're looking forward to that. I know that's in pre-production now mm -hmm. and be on the lookout for that for AFME um, next year. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much for being with us. We really appreciate oh, you being with you. us thank and you sharing you. your craft with us and sharing your story. My pleasure. And we look forward to seeing you in your future endeavors, maybe being on The Voice in America. Who knows? Hey, you never know. Yeah? Yeah. Well, great. Thank you so much, David. Thank you guys so much for being with us. I'm your host, Michael Newman, and make sure you go to abqfilmx.com for more information.